We definitely should not be doing this with a death adder. That is a landmine right there. This is Death Adder Island. This is Magnetic Island, or as it's known to the locals, Death Adder Island. Death Adders are known for their expert camo, extremely fast strike, and their powerful neurotoxic venom means the potential of a bite is terrifying. When I bought the place, they said this was known as Death Adder Alley. Most people are afraid of snakes in general. I've been bitten by a Death Adder. There's no doubt that the Death Adder is a highly dangerous snake, but I believe there's no need to fear them if you understand them. Let's test this theory. It's day one looking for Death Adders on Magnetic Island, and what we're doing is road cruising. So I'm in the car going as slow as possible, and I'm just keeping an eye out for the Death Adders that are coming across the road. Total luck at the end of the day, but you just have to keep your eyes peeled on the road. And it's not just snakes that cross the road. Wow, how cool is this? This is an echidna, really related to the platypus. What he's got is this long kind of nose. This is basically an anteater and he can burrow. He's got very strong claws. It's an iconic Australian animal. Tonight, the Death Adder's expert camo has beaten me. Tomorrow, it's time to try plan B. I've had to up the stakes a little bit and now we've got a search party looking around the island for the Death Adder's. So these guys, they want to spread the word that these death adders are actually getting endangered and they think that they are worthy of conserving. Howdy, hey Blanche, how are you? Hi. How's it going? Are you practicing the pressure bandages? This pressure bandage is an important piece of snake bite first aid and the death adder bite could easily kill you. So what we'll do uh, is we'll split up and we need to get to you as quickly as possible if you find a snake and we don't. Hello, Jack speaking. Are you kidding me? I cannot believe that. Yeah, we found one. He's just a baby. He's kind of just wedged in between some rocks. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Okay, Jack's on the way there too. We have to get there as quickly as possible in case the death adder moves away. Oh, wow. That isn't a baby. It's an ambush predator, so it just stays there and he's waiting for prey to come along and bang, he'll go for it. I'm just hooking him out so we can have a good look at him. You can see how unbelievably calm the snake is. Not the aggressive snake that a lot of people think they are. That's Anders. Hello. What? You found one too? El Koi, hang on. That's amazing. So we've got, we got our second yeah, okay, death adder of the night. This is just well, insane. As you. people said, this yeah. is Death Adder Island. I think it's time to say goodbye to you and happy hunting. Let's go. Whereabouts is it? I can't even see it. That is unbelievable how camouflaged it is. I'll just pull the leaves away. Bam. Wow, you would never spot that because they're in this leaf litter, they're so unbelievably well camouflaged. That is a landmine right there. So what happens is that the snake puts this little lure up, which looks a bit like an insect in order to attract a prey item. And it strikes out when the rodent is close enough. Lure, lure, bam. They're in the top 10 most venomous species in the world. But look like how calm that snake is. But this snake is not showing me any threat display at all. Let's push it one step further. You definitely should not be doing this with a death adder. I think this time we'll be putting her back into the rocks. I have a lot of experience with venomous snakes, which is why I wanted to do this. I wanted to show how this snake can be calm if not threatened. These snakes are not looking to bite. Thanks so much. No worries, mate. Pleasure. 
But the death adder camo is like a landmine. And to live alongside them, you do need to take extra care not to stand on them. Death adder, yes, 